In this demo, we will show you how to create scheduled reports. Scheduled reports reduce the time required to generate recurring reports by automatically saving reports to the specified location configured in the Amazon Connect instance. Scheduling reports produces regular reports to stakeholders, providing visibility over metrics that are important to them. Once the schedule is created, reports will be produced automatically based on the specified schedule. There are two ways to create a scheduled report. The first way is to create the scheduled report straight from the historical metrics dashboard. And the second way is to create the scheduled report based on an existing report saved to your Amazon Connect instance. Before we start creating scheduled reports, ensure you are logged into the instance with the user that has permissions to create and schedule reports. Under the Analytics and Optimization icon in the Historical Metrics dashboard, click the reporting group you would like to generate a report for. For this demo, we will use the Queues grouping. Once the Queues report is loaded, click the Actions drop-down menu next to Save Report and select Schedule. Give it a name. We will name our scheduled report Hourly Queue Metrics. Click Continue. This will bring up a note reminding you that once a report is scheduled, it will be published to your organization, allowing all individuals who have permissions to view saved reports to have access to your scheduled report. Next, we will configure the recurrence for this report. Being an hourly report, set the recurrence to run every hour. We then want to choose the data to include in the report. Let's say we want to include data starting from midnight for the past hour. Lastly, select the time zone. In our demo, we'll keep it to the default choice of UTC. When a scheduled report is generated, it will be saved in an Amazon S3 bucket. We can see the S3 bucket location in the Delivery Options tab. You can modify the S3 bucket where the scheduled reports will be saved. For delivery options, you may also want to specify an optional prefix. The prefix helps organize and group reports together in the same location. In this demo, we will set the prefix to demo. Finally, click create to generate the schedule. This will generate an hourly report that will be saved into the S3 bucket. For demo purposes, I've created a schedule that has been running for the past few hours. Let's view the scheduled reports that have been generated in our S3 bucket. Navigate to the Amazon S3 console and select our reporting bucket. Select reports, then select demo, our specified prefix, to view all the generated scheduled reports. You can see the scheduled reports that have been created for the past few hours, with file names including the UTC time of when the report was created. To delete the schedule, navigate to Saved Reports by hovering over the graph icon to expand the Analytics and Optimization menu and clicking Saved Reports. For this demo, we will be deleting the schedule for a historical metric report. In the View Reports page, choose the Historical Metrics tab and hover over the report you would like to delete the schedule for. Additional icons will appear on the right Click on the clock icon to view the schedules relating to the report. You should now see all the schedules for the report. To delete, click delete next to the scheduled reports you want to delete. Thank you for joining me in this demo to learn how to create, view and delete scheduled reports.